Okay, hi all. Welcome to strategy two within this webinar series or strategy series uh, for lack of a better phrase. And again, it's another short term strategy. And the intention of this strategy is to be used in conjunction with the Telegram uh, uh, channel. So um, as I highlighted in strategy one, the Telegram channel is a synopsis of our morning our morning analysis whereby we go through every instrument within our product list on MetaTrader 4. We look at what pairs um, are high probability and then we break it down to the highest probability of, of the day. Okay, so strategy one, we introduce to you a execution model whereby we've highlighted to you what the high probability is and you would merely just look to execute. Now this is very, very similar. I know that a lot of you are scalpers and so we're going to go through that uh, that scalping um, uh, a mechanism here within a lower time frame just for your execu execution whereby you can take advantage um, of those opportunities okay so like strategy one guys we're quickly going to go through some of the parameters here within the strategy and some of the indicators and uh, really easy guys it's uh, basically a moving average crossover albeit we do make some subtle changes to the moving averages and, and we'll come to that shortly okay so first of all we've got a pure price price chart guys um, candlestick analysis so this is this first window here is your price chart and that's really one of the only windows you're going to have open so your first indicators and again guys like strategy one don't worry about the template the template is included within the strategy so you can download that onto your uh, uh, metatrader 4 if this is a strategy that you so like okay so the first strategy guys is your your longer time frame moving average okay so let's quickly just pop that up so you can see what it looks like so there you can see guys it can i make this bigger no okay so it's a period 144 guys so it'll be a relatively big um or long dated or long weighted moving average remember the longer the time frames so, or the longer the period in this instance 144 the smoother or the flatter it will be okay as you can recall from strategy one linear weighted is beautiful because it does take into account your your most recent uh, price candles and gives them a little bit of a weighted preference okay so your most important one is relatively um, uh, the relatively catered for and you'll see that over here so if i if I move this for you guys, what you can see here is that our moving average is relatively flat for most of the part. And then all of a sudden you get this almost like a little douse of volatility. Okay, so that's the reason why we're using a linear weighted. We're using 144 because it's taken into consideration a lot more candles or a lot more periods which should give us a more consistent feel about our execution okay again a uh, second of all guys um, as i mentioned we are using a linear weighted moving average method and we have already touched on that below okay so second uh moving average here is let's just pop it up here for you um, this is a more smooth moving average okay so we are going to be using a period five so a very very short period okay just as the longer a period moving average takes into consideration a lot more and it will be a lot smoother your shorter time period like the one we have here almost mirrors the market okay so what you can see here is you can see this moving average 
it's almost a mirror of where price action is okay now to smooth it we are almost trying to take into consideration all our candles um, so that we don't have these spiky volatilities that you see here these big big tops and bottoms okay so the smooth just tries to eliminate those tops and bottoms and it almost allows us a better visual when we're looking at the chart all right again guys i have touched on it but this is going to be a smooth moving average okay so once we've got those two moving averages on here the whole chart will look something like that okay so you got in purple your longer dated or your longer period uh, moving average in this case 144 and in the royal blue you've got a, um, a five moving average okay so for those of you that aren't completely new to trading you will know that a moving average crossover is a relatively simple technique but it can be powerful I think where a lot of traders make errors is by trying to force that moving average now I've chosen this particular chart guys because it gives us two very good um, examples within the same page okay so to go short guys relatively simple when the market has or price has um, closed inside both moving averages and the moving averages have crossed over so here you can see blue crosses below purple okay so when blue crosses below purple that illustrates to me already that I should be looking to enter a trade and because blue is below purple I want to sell or I want to go short on this strategy guys what I generally wait for is for the candle to close before I enter a trade so as you can see this long candle here closes inside uh, both moving averages okay at that point guys I'm looking to uh, enter a trade and I would open a trade on the very next candle so there you would uh, be short at 131.69 again just like the last strategy guys this is a, um, a strategy that incorporates a moving average and a take profit now this is the tricky part a lot of you will be tempted to look for your your stop loss just like the previous strategy at the previous high guys that's too much okay remember this is a strategy which incorporates a scalping technique so scalping techniques suggests exactly how the word is phrased we are just looking to scalp or take uh, short profits within those uh, parameters so you may be looking for 10 15 20 points at a time as opposed to those massive uh, uh, 50 60 uh, 100 point gains in a day okay if you look for this in this instance you can see here if your entry was at 131.70 call it your take profits at 132.40 that's quite big for a five minute chart guys um, that's already uh, a 75 points which i think in most instances you'll be stopped out uh, before you take money so my suggestion here guys is to look at your stop loss being around where the cross was so there you can see um, I'm going to move my stop loss down and Joe you can see that, that is where the cross was hence the reason that would be my stop loss so in this particular instance my entry is 131.69 and a stop loss equals 131.89 okay so the difference between that guys the entry minus the stop loss gives us 20 points again on these short time frames we should be looking for a one 
R. So for those of you that are new to that phrase, one R means for every point we risk, so R stands for risk, we are looking for one point in reward. So in this instance, we have got 20 points of risk. So we are looking at one times 20. Therefore, my take profit on a one R, okay, would be 20 points, meaning my take profit here is my entry minus the 20 points. So I would be looking for 131.49. Okay, so we can just pop that in there real quickly for, for you. And there you can see within sort of 15 to 20 minutes, you've made your 20 points for the day. Okay, so great, great uh, uh, return there. Okay, so that's an example of a short trade. An example of a long trade would be just everything in reverse. So when I say everything in reverse, guys, I'm looking for two things. If I was looking for a long, if I was looking for a short, I want my blue moving average to cross over below my purple line. For a long trade or a buy trade, I want my blue moving average to cross above the purple moving average. Okay, so my shorter time frame crosses through my longer time frame. And here is a, a nice example here. You can see your purple and your blue intersect and my blue moving average crosses above my purple moving average. Okay, so that immediately tells me that I can look for a long trade. Now, where would I enter? I'd wait for the candle to close. So the candle and the crossover occurred on this candle right here which means that I can enter a trade on the very next candle. Hence the reason my entry would be 132.02. I'm going to round it off to 132 when we go through the example. My stop loss, guys, as you can recall, I'm going to use a stop loss that because it's a scalping strategy that is a little bit more realistic and I'm going to use this crossover as my point of reference for a stop loss so let's just pop that on there quickly so as you can see 151.80 so let's calculate that quickly i have an entry of 132.00 and i have a stop loss of 131.80 again the difference between the two is 20 points I'm looking for a 1R okay so what does my R my R is 20 the difference between my entry and my stop loss so 1 times R is 20 so I'm looking for a take profit of 20 points because it's a long trade I want my take profit to be 132.20. Okay, and I would place my stop loss there accordingly. Okay, so if we pop that on there quick. 132.20. We kind of, again, hit our take profit within uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, guys, so a relatively straightforward technique you only in the market for, I don't know, five, five to 30 minutes at a time, uh, taking short scalping uh, out of the market. So short profits, you're taking bites of their profits. And I can tell you 20 points a day, guys, uh, compounded will be a massive return at the end of the year uh, when you look at your accounts. Okay, so this week, guys, we had a US index and a Kiwi against the pound. Just going to go through a quick example so you could see it in live. So the Telegram channel, we were looking for a long trade. We did have a false start here, but that's why it's important to wait for a moving average crossover. At no point did the moving average or the blue line 
across above the purples okay so our telegram channel will show you we were looking for a excuse me a, a long trade okay i think a better example is over here we finally got it late in the afternoon blue crossing uh, uh, through purple and our moving average closing sorry our candle closing around that candle there okay so that means that our entry would have been here 93 there's our take profit so you're looking um, keep in mind guys because this is a decimal this is around 15 points yeah around 15 points so we pop a take profit in there at 93.20 uh, you can see that we got hit at our take profit within uh, sort of 30 minutes on friday we were looking to go long the pound kiwi and let's just pop that chart on there strategy two okay so two opportunities here guys um first one we were looking for the crossover as you can see blue crossover so what we can do is we can look for an entry around this candle so 192.08 around the there so 191.93 so you're looking for around 15 points and there you get it there 92.25 um, that's almost 20 points so there you have your 15 points so a nice 15 point take profit there now let's just say you missed that trade you came in later on in the afternoon well we've got a second bite of the cherry or even those scalpers that like trading more than once a day you would have had two trades okay so again moving average crossover blue went above purple we were looking for a long trade on this one um, the crossover happened on about this candle over here so our entry on this particular trade would have been on this small candle so 191.94 i use my stop loss on the intersection okay so right about there the 91.76 guys let's call it 20 points we would have been looking for we can pop that on there 14 and there we would have got it in around 10, 10 to 15 minutes we would have got our 20 points so another good day so guys as you can see again a scalping strategy that relies on the telegram channel and the telegram opportunities of the high probability opportunities we present every day this is purely your trigger so when i say a trigger we've identified the opportunity for you um, you're just looking for a mechanism that allows you to get into the trade and this would be it uh, much like strategy one guys it's a it's a helpful strategy especially to those that are new to trading it allows you to concentrate on the skill of a moving average crossover it allows you to identify a stop loss um, as you get into a trade it also allows you to uh, know where your take profit or your exit is so therefore we've got a comprehensive risk management system within the execution uh, and like I said um, just as successful as the strategy one um, and I'm sure a lot of you will get a lot of benefit from this particular strategy okay guys so thanks for joining us um, please do give us some feedback on this particular strategy uh, my suggestion is always to try it on a demo account until you're comfortable and then you can go on to a live account and uh, lastly please do join us for strategy three Okay, cheers guys.